why are you moving into the subscription model? Give us a little background in what is your business model today and how that is evolving. And do you also see advertising via being a big portion of that? Yeah, I, I think again, you have to go back to the web for inspiration. If you look at how, uh, say, someone that has a buddy list mm -hmm. uh, on, uh, say, uh, AOL Instant Messenger, okay. uh, that's the proverbial sticky community. Mm -hmm. And unless I can convince all my buddies to shift to another brand, we're all mm -hmm. going to stay right there. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a lot of value that can accrue around that around that community. And again, it's it's really more driven by simplicity and convenience uh, than than anything else. And that that's a uh, uh, an aspect of uh, what, what are now known as disruptive products uh, that generally you have a, an emerging a new market that is choosing simplicity and convenience over other factors mm -hmm. and that's a very big part of this whole revolution around casual gaming and also I think around these uh, social applications uh, on the network. But for now the revenue you derive is mainly through just the selling of a game, one game and, and receiving that. Right. One so time. if you look in the rear view mirror, well, you know, most of the history okay. is individual game downloads. Okay. But, and uh, how many games forward, have been downloaded? Or how uh, again, many games uh, in, have you sold? In our, in our case, it's over, it's over 30 million. 30 million, right. Okay, wow. Now, um, Jamdat was bought by EA mm -hmm. for, what, $600 million? Almost and, 700. And Glue Mobile went public this year. Mm -hmm. What do you think they did right? I mean, those are incredibly successful exits. I would uh, well, uh, Jammed Out uh, got into the market very early, so they, mm -hmm. they were started uh, at least three or maybe four years before Digital Chocolate. So they, okay. they got in on the ground floor, and they were able to be a launch partner for mobile games with many of the carriers when the carriers first got started with mobile games, and that gave mm -hmm. them a significant uh, relationship and higher market share. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And at the time that Jamdat went public, they were the uh, only mobile game company that was in a position to go public. Mm -hmm. So they had uh, sort of a commanding position with the investors that cared about the category. I would say more recently, I mean, Glue, Glue is, is also a company that has been around uh, much longer than we have. And so they also, they didn't get, they weren't started quite as early as Jamdat, but uh, for fairly early. So they've had more time to mature and, and develop the business. And it's a, you know, it's a very promising sign for our industry that additional companies are going public. Another one is uh, Gameloft, that is a very solid competitor that's a public company in France, and there are uh, other companies in other parts of the world. So there's uh, starting to develop more of an industry of public mm -hmm. companies that investors can, uh, can look at, and uh, that's good for everybody for, for there to be a, a sector that has more than you know multiple companies uh, that are publicly traded, and to see their market caps get to be big enough that we can attract more institutional investors to the segment.